Hi, welcome to uh, Andy's Beauty Views. Thanks for joining me for what will be my really spooky coincidence beer review. Um, I'm reviewing this. This is uh, 49 Squadron, a Best Bitter by uh, Ferriel Brewery, or a fab as it's better known as in uh, Lincolnshire, brewed in honour of the uh, men and women who built, flew and maintained Avro Lancasters during World War II. Um, I've bought this from uh, Chuckling, Ch Chuckling Cheese in Doncaster and as it said on the side it should have been £3 and it is now £1, oh, it wasn't even bought it, £1.50. Um, I'm a little bit behind on drinking some of these so this is about six months past its best before but it's only best before and I don't think beer goes off, I don't think alcohol goes off. So it might just be a little bit feisty on the opening. It's not. There's a pleasant surprise. Pleasant surprise. I'll tell you about this for instance in a, in a few moments. Let's uh, get this into the glass first. I bought this originally. Well one, I like to help out um, Smaller retailers and, and chuckling cheese in Doncaster, which is where I got it from, is a small retailer, not a big supermarché. Um, and Mrs. Andy Beer, Beer, Beer Reviews loves Lancaster Bombers. I'm a Spitfire man, she likes Lancaster Bombers. And we've uh, managed to see both a couple of occasions, which is quite nice. So that has poured clear. And an amber, clear amber, with a just off white, beautiful head. Let's get the aroma, shall we? Ooh. Oh, that smells good. I don't have it easy, but it just seems ages since I last had a beer. A beer, proper beer. It's sweet, it's fruity. Nice bit of caramel in there as well. Smells really good. Right, taste it. Cheers, everybody. Right, a coincidence. What oh, is a Seba Gold winner in 2019? I didn't notice that before. Um, I know nothing about um, 49 Squadron. I guess it was um, obviously a Lancaster uh, Squadron. Uh, so just a little bit of digging because I, I don't like to know a little bit about these things sometimes. It's like this, so it's named after something or somebody. I do like to know a little bit more about it. So I can bring that to you, the community, the big community. Um, so 49 Squadron has been going for a long time, it's not just about World War II and Lancaster Bombers. 49 Squadron has been going since uh, 1916, so before the invention of Lancaster Bombers, which is quite interesting, I found. Now the coincidence is, yesterday I had that one, the Spitfire Gold. And in that, I mentioned my great-grandfather, who unfortunately died at the Battle of Cambrai. It only just turns out that 49 Squadron, their first action when they were created was the Battle of Cambrai. How amazing is that? What a coincidence. What a coincidence. Um, yeah, always strange. But again, it's, it's not quite a coincidence, it's just one of those fate things that my great granddad died in the First World War. If he hadn't have had my granddad before he went off to war, I wouldn't be here today. It's bizarre, life's a strange thing. Hmm. Anyway, oh, I've got some uh, more news coming up um, about my ancestry. Uh, been looking through some archives of some old um, family videos and one of them is quite interesting and the next 
hopefully next week or two I'll be able to bring that to you but it's very interesting about one of my ancestors I'll say no more at the moment so the beer it's a cracking beer it pardon me it's a really good English ale it's another of those where <clears throat> taking it out of the bottle doesn't do it justice I always think this is about beers and ales they should be drank in a pub and that's what I always that, ah. in a pub this will this is this tastes amazing in a pub I, I can only imagine how great this tastes the well, good thing about beer it doesn't matter does it if it's a hot day it's refreshing if it's cold autumnal it's just a nice warming beer um yes yeah, so about this for drink it all it's uh sweet it is bitter there's a nice caramel flavor coming through you got caramel flavor there's a little bit of breadiness about it as well add some nice punchy hops and just a nice bit of light bitterness at the back end Look at the head. I mean, out of a glass, and the head's still there. Damn fine brew. I like that. So, uh, you can pick this up. Uh, lots of places do this. Uh, you can buy it online, or you can get it from uh, Fab Brewery. Fab Brewery? If you get it Fab. Um, but yeah, small independent shops usually have this so I can get hold of it quite easily uh, three quid usually bargain for me one pound fifty but I would quite happily pay three pound for that um, it's smooth it's tasty it's a really good English ale um, score wise eight and a half out of ten eight and a half out of ten for managed beer reviews whatever you're drinking tonight please enjoy it until next review cheers everybody